doing a chemical peel for melasma, and most people that have melasma, it's very much influenced by inflammation, hormones, sun. So peels are typically not the first line treatment um, unless they're very light or a mixture of different acids that can be used to slightly or lightly exfoliate the skin. So we're doing a new peel by Jan Marini, which is a combination of lactic salicylic acid and resource and all similar to what's called a Jesner's peel. And in uh, multiple passes, you can do a light amount of exfoliation. And we just applied the peel onto my patient's skin and in the first pass, she's feeling just a small amount of sensitivity um, just with a little bit of a cooler or a fan is all you really need and we're watching her skin to look for changes in the skin whether it's inflammation or a little bit of frosting or crystallization of the salicylic acid and that that is our end point and if she doesn't have that much pain after five minutes we do a second pass and what we expected is that in a few days she would have a light amount of exfoliation a little bit of sensitivity but then after the next week or two she'll get improved complexion and brightening of the melasma. If you induce too much irritation, you can worsen the melasma. So what we're gonna do is limit the amount of peel we use, limit the inflammation so that she just gets slight amount of exfoliation over time and starts her skincare products in a couple days. And those skincare products will be brightening and lightening and, and pigmentation prevention with glycolic acids and vitamin C and a growth factor repair cream that will help decrease any pigmentation. So over time, she'll get improvement in the melasma without any risk to her skin, even with a peel.